So now we've opened up the uh, uh, Action Recognition Jupyter Notebook and we'll start going through, through this. So here we cover the learning objectives for this uh, notebook. We have the contents of this. And uh, so let's get started. Let's set up our variables and map our drives. Now this is where we do all our mapping and this is how we map the, uh, the, the local drives to the uh, Docker containers. So the first thing you do is right here, uh, local project directory, put your uh, local project directory, that would be right here. My Tau Experiments, let's just open that up, it's blank. That's my home Jovi Tau Experiments. And down here, I NVIDIA key, you put your key here. Now, if you generated your key, you can put it there. Right now, I'm going to leave it NVIDIA Tau. And there's going to something I want to point out about this. This has to be changed in the spec files for it to work properly. So we'll, we'll, uh, I'll point that out when we get to it. So let's go ahead and do this. And if we had done this correctly, um, when I run this, it will generate the uh, folders, action recognition and data. The spec folder is was uh, it mapped it to in here. That was mapped to this specs folder, and this will be all our spec folders right here that we'll need. that and then uh, just do uh, uh, now we we'll map them and then this is we'll, we'll kind of check it what where, where they all at this tells what our mounts are our source and destinations installing the towel launcher we've already did that in the very beginning so just to make sure that's there we just run this yes it's there toolkit version 4.0 we're going to prepare the data sets. So if you want to, you can update and install the UNRAR program, which is we'll unpack it. And then, but right here, we'll download the data set and UNRAR the files. Now this may, may take a bit, uh, so uh, I might skip it when uh, if it takes too long. So we've downloaded and unpacked our data set. If you go to here, action recognition, this is the raw data, falling on the floor. So there's a bunch of videos in here showing falling on the floor, riding a bike, and it's going to use this to train on. And then there's the file and there's the videos and the raw data so we've got that <laughs> now <clears throat> we need to clone the data set to process the scripts so and then install the dependency for the data generator I've already done that but we'll run it again Let's run the processing script. This is a process all the uh, the data. I don't know exactly what it's processing it for, but we'll find out. So we've taken our raw data, processed it, and put it in the process data folder. Took raw data, threw it in here, processed it. And it looks like it. what it is, it chopped it up, uh, the video, into separate images. So it took all the videos and chopped them up into separate images. So that's what, what it's did. And then uh, they have an option here to uh, download the app base 
on an NVOF SDK to generate optical flow. It is packaged with a notebook. That's optional. So let's here download and split the files. train and our test folder we'll verify that yes it verifies it, it says what's in there now we're going to download our pre-trained model from the NGC We're going to check it. See, so yes, it's there. And then we're going to make a folder for the pre trained uh, file. We're pulling the pre trained. So we downloaded a model and put it into this pre-train folder. Let's check it. It's there. Now this is where we provide the training specifications. We provide specific specification files to configure the training parameters including the model configure, configure the model settings, train configuration, data set configuration and this is the spec files we use to to uh, that the training runs off of like right here so and like these spec folders can be found in here getting started notebooks launcher action.net spec folders that's where we'll find all our spec for training train RGB 3d fine-tuned YAML right there now here's one I want to uh, point out like if you open this up here's this and this is the the same thing right here now this is where, where I kind of hung up on a little bit see where it says encryption key Nvidia tau up at the top, a lot of times what I do is I'll put the key that I was generated. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll take the key that I generated at the very beginning and I'll throw it in there up at the top. Right here. And then I'll use that key everywhere I go as I process the data and then I move it into the like the jets and devices to, to deploy it. I, I use the key. Now you don't have to use the key. But if you're going to use the key, you have to, you put it in there, you have to change it in the spec file or you'll have some issues like right there. So you got to, whatever key you're using or no key you're using, it's got to match what you put in up at the top. So I just left NVIDIA Tau up at the top as my key, so I'm leaving this alone. But other than that, it goes through the all the uh, data set configuration the output shape and and everything it needs to run the training so this is another thing to, we'll make sure our data is saved in these specific folders and here we run we run the training model right here so before we do that let's we make sure that we give our file permissions to the folder or it'll get stuck when it goes to write uh, the checkpoints so let's just do this home So we go right here. Make sure I give my Tau experiments folder like full permission to read and write. Okay, we've 
done it. So now we can go start our training. So what it does, it takes this the spec folder from here, uh, creates this RGB 3D PTM, and then it uses these in classes five to do the training. So we need to uh, run the training here. Now this will take a while, so I'll, I'll and once it starts running, I'll we'll probably bypass it or, or jump over it. Let's go back over here. And let's see, where's our results directory? So, right in here. We should produce an RGB 3D PTM file in here and then load it with all the processing model uh, lo uh, checkpoints. As I say, if you don't make sure your your folder your folder doesn't have permission, a lot of times it'll run the the first uh, when it goes to write the what do we go the checkpoint. It won't. It'll attempt to, when it can't reach it, and it'll stop. So it started its training. So uh, we'll probably have to. This will take a couple hours. So. I'll get okay. So our training's done. It didn't take that long. It took about an hour. That's uh, that, that was pretty quick. So you can see we went 20 epochs up here. 20. So you go down here. So 20 epochs. This is our loss. So let's go, and then we produce this folder. That's where all the everything went, and that shows what's in that folder. And this shows the final the final one, RGB RGB only model TLT. This is for uh, optional. You can train optical flow with this. Now let's evaluate the train model. So we've uh, run the evaluation on it. And uh, we've run pretty good. Uh, it's a uh, fall on the floor is 96%. Riding a bike is 100%. Total accuracy 98%. So it, it ran it ran pretty good. Now we're going to run inference on it. So we've done that, and let's see what we have. Let's see. Ride bike. Let's open this up. So it's it's looked at them and it says ride bike, ride bike. So it's picked out what's going on. And uh, so let's go ahead and just kind of mess with it here. Test but ride bike to see if it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. So let's go to here. See, nope. Test. So it went to the test file and got the ride bike, and basically looked there and said, "Hey, what's 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 what are these riding bike?" So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the falling down in there and see if it it can tell the difference. So what we do is we call here. Take all these folders, copy them, put them in the ride bike folder, and then let's uh, run this again. See if it can actually pick them out, what's riding bike and what's falling down. 
See, so it did. It got in there. It, it, it figured out ride bike, fall floor, fall floor. So it does know who is what. It has figured out what is riding bike and what is falling to the floor. So our inference is good. So now we're ready to deploy it. We need an export folder. Generate that. Make directory export. And then export it. It's created our folder. So we've done, exported our model. And basically we just take this over to our uh, Jetson uh, device and just plug it in over there and, and, uh, and, and, it, and it'll work. And then you have some options, export OF only model. So Anyway, so that's the whole setup right there. Uh, pretty simple. They made this really simple and easy. So, uh, all right. Thank you very much. Bye.